You have a really cool story. You grew up, it sounded like, in an inner city school at your parents' budget motel, and then you turned into this super successful businessman, doctor, and just great all-around person from everything I've heard. So <laughs> I'd be curious, starting from the beginning, growing up in Las Vegas, where you were, attending these inner city public schools, what were some of the challenges you faced and how do you think they shaped you for where you are today? Las Vegas, as everyone knows it, everyone kind of thinks of the strip and the glamour and the lights and all of that. But I grew up far from that glamour. I grew up in the inner city of Vegas. My parents, they bought a motel when I was like two years old. So pretty much my whole life, I grew up there. And so I was zoned for these public schools that were not that great. And in fact, the high school dropout rate when I was in high school was 37%. And so I know that many people keep listening probably have similar school districts, not great school or education systems in their area. But I hope that today's conversation inspires you to take education into your own hands as a father and as a parent and really help your child succeed because that's what happened for me. My parents took education really seriously. They always encouraged me to succeed. And so I was a really good student. I got straight A's throughout school, both middle school and high school and I did well in math. I did well in English. What was really hard for me was standardized testing. So I was not a naturally good standardized test taker. I had a lot of test anxiety. My parents didn't go to college here. I didn't know the first thing about test prep. And on the very first SAT that I ever took, I barely scored above average. And I spent hundreds of hours in the library self-studying for the SAT. I developed a lot of strategies. I learned a lot of strategies that unlocked the exam for me. And eventually I was able to raise my SAT score 640 points and get a perfect score, which is something that only 0.02% of all students achieve. That completely changed my life. I got into some of the nation's top universities. I got a half a million dollars in college scholarship offers. And it really set the path to change kind of all of my opportunities, meet all kinds of great people at these universities, go to college for absolutely free. And that's what I want to help students, or that's what I do help students now do through prep experts change their own lives through changing their scores.